What's up guys? It looks like the Captain's 2-pack was the winner this round. I had a feeling they would win. Now if you didn't catch the hidden toy in the other two videos, then here he is now. It's the Titan Hero Super War Machine. But I think most of you saw him since the hidden figure was like the second highest voted on the poll, so we'll see who wins the next poll. But for now, it's time for the Captain America and Captain Marvel 2-pack. Starting with the box, we get that gorgeous endgame packaging and I love the glam shots of the two in the corner there. Here's one side and the other side. Here's the top and here's the back with a sweet glam shot of the dynamic duo and the super friends up there and here's some wording if you want to read that wait a minute i think i just made dc references with yeah and then here's the other two pack that i reviewed and some lego jumbo and here's the bottom with the upc and there they are guys marvel's dynamic duo and man are they looking pretty sweet well except for the blue here i'm, I'm not we'll talk about that in his review but honestly i think we should start with captain marvel now starting with the head we get a super sweet design i'm really digging this binary hair design here it just looks really great i love the translucent like rubber plastic whatever they used with it it's pretty soft so it's probably rubber but man it's got a little bit of sparkles in it as you can see and it just looks so awesome it looks Looks so binary. And let me shine some light here. Get my little flashy lighty here. Turn that on. Check that out. Look at that translucentness. It just looks amazing, man. I like. I seriously, really, really like this hair. It looks really good. And the face is pretty awesome too. You can see it's got some nice sculpts there. I'm not sure. It quite looks like Brie Larson, but hey, it looks pretty nice. You got the binary eyes and pretty clean paint overall. And the body sculpt is looking pretty sweet too. There's a surprising amount of sculpting and details to it and it looks pretty accurate to the movie, which is surprising considering this is a basic figure. I kind of I kind of use the hands to get the hair out of the way so you can see it, but she kind of looks like the Phoenix, doesn't she? Well, Disney does own the X-Men now. Woohoo! And the paint applications are very cleanly applied and have practically zero bleed. And if you look here, you can actually see they added some texturing to that red portion there. And the gold has a nice shimmer metallic look. And the blue here actually has a very slight metallic sheen to it. There's like some little sparkles into it, just like in the movie. So, I mean, they really accurately represented this suit here. And on the back here looks just as good. Let me move the hair out of the way so you can see that there. <laughs> now that's just creepy. But yeah, just look at that. Look at that awesome paint job there. It's a little bit light on that side, but still, you got the texturing, you got the metallic paint, you got all that details there. It's very impressive, and I mean, <laughs> I, I, I still I, I forget that this is a basic figure because it looks so great. The overall sculpt just looks great already, but man, check out these arms. Now the top portion here looks pretty nice with the red, but the gold application there isn't very clean and does leave much to be desired. But it does have some nice details sculpted in with all the wrinkles and the suit and the blue still looks nice, so that's still a plus. But it's this portion right here, her forearm, her glove gauntlet thing. Man, I love this gold and how they made it give it kind of that, you know, fiery binary look, like she's blasting her photon blast. It just looks great and it's super shiny. And then this hand has that cool, Kind of, whoa. There we go, that's better. <laughs> Looks like her photon powers may have disrupted the focus. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, this hand here has that same awesome goldish kind of yellow photon blast look, but she has that cool hand going like, Argh! like she's blasting it out, which is super cool. And her hand is very detailed, like with her fingers and everything. That looks great. And her fingers are nice and soft too, so you don't have to worry about breaking those off. In fact, her arm in general is kind of flexy, not as bad as the others. So it's it's got some like stiffness to it, which is great. And then moving into her leg legs, we get a surprisingly quality sculpt. It looks pretty good, except for that Lego jumbo there. Yeah. Now there's no paint highlights on the suit piping on her legs there, but the details are there and they look great all around. And it still has that kind of bluish metallic look there. She even has some wrinkles for her knees there. They really did a great job sculpting. The knee pads look great. And they did add the gold onto her boots there and they're actually pretty cleanly applied. I mean, I'm sure you probably want to check those when you're buying it because not all of them are probably going to be that great, but I got lucky there. And if you look closely here, you can see there's actually some texturing right there as well. It's not just like some shiny plastic that looks kind of like toyish. It actually, they actually went out to give it that, that actual movie accurate, screen accurate 
flat kind of boot look which is great and then the bottom boot there looks good I mean this is there's a bottom of the feet for you man I just keep having to remind myself that this is a basic figure you know made in the $10 price range. well it comes in two pack that's 20 bucks but still 10 bucks a piece but still you know I mean the quality and details that you get for the price is very impressive all right now for the articulation her head rotates in a 360 degree circle and the hair actually doesn't get in the way which is impressive it's that soft but it doesn't go side to side and up or down oh it actually Nah, nah, it springs back because of the hair, so that's the one downfall. And her arm rotates in a 360 degree swaykle, and it goes only that far up. Her elbow rotates in a circle as well, but also only goes that far up, not very high, so I don't know, that's kind of weird. Eh. And her legs go quite a bit forward, but not back at all. And for accessories, she comes with this ball of fire. Actually, it's supposed to be a photon blast, but it looks really great. It's got a nice shimmer to it. it looks like they have like sparkles inside it. It's made of translucent plastic, just like her hair, I think. I don't know if it's the same plastic. It's nice and soft though. It's got some nice waves to it as well and some little holes there to make it look like a fiery photon, which is pretty sweet. And you just stick it on her hand like so, just kind of finagle it in there. And I noticed that if you get one of her fingers there, like see how her fingers are into that corner there, it actually holds it much better. Kind of, it doesn't wiggle around as much. Or if you want to, too, you can, you can find the other hole. Where's that small one? This little small hole right there. Get that, and then put her thumb into it, and then it holds it nice and steady. And then it kind of stays and doesn't go anywhere. Because if you put it on the other hand, there's no fingers to hold it, and it just kind of wobbles around a bit and just, you know, kind of rolls around so it doesn't look quite as nice. So, so definitely I prefer it on this hand, but you can put it on either hand. Photon blast! Pew 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 pew! Pew 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 pew! All right, now it's time for cap attack. Rawr. Now starting with the head here, we actually get a pretty decent sculpt overall. I'm not, I'm not digging that really light blue color, but the sculpt is definitely there. Although what I don't really like though is there's quite a bit of marbling. Now I normally like marbling, as you guys know, but in this particular situation, I don't think it works well because it actually kind of hides some of the details like right there there's actually a line that goes right there a sculpting line but you can't see it because of the marbling i think the regular suit's probably going to be better i think they actually put paint on it so that should hopefully look good but yeah look at that detail there that looks sweet and his face doesn't look too bad either it doesn't look like chris evans but at least he, he doesn't look wonky like like thanos hey that's me well maybe if you didn't snap away half the universe we'd be a little bit nicer to you Okay, maybe you have a point. And moving down to his body here, I think he has the best tech suit sculpt of the bunch. All the details and sculpting are definitely there, and he's just got some just overall really nice just design. Just look, it's not flat like Thor's, which is already great, and he's got more well-defined abs. The blue is, nah, I don't really get that. I don't think that's really going to be a movie thing. I think that's just a toy thing. But the paint applications look great, too, on the red there. And these designs overall, they're just like the other suits, but it just... The, the, everything else just looks so much better on this. This top portion looks great too with the little little dots up there and then the little glowy lights that are just paint but they're supposed to be glowy lights. And then here's the back here, continue that awesome blossom detail just like in the front. Looks really great, very well sculpted, clean and it's not flat which is just so nice. Here, let me grab Thor real quick. Okay, I'll compare the suits more later on in the video but I just gotta show you this right now. Just Look at that difference. Thor's like a pancake and like Captain America, he is buff. He is an Avenger. I don't know what they did with Thor, but it's like, uh. And the arms look just as awesome too with all that nice detailing, lots of sculpting, that mechanical kind of organic look going there. You got more of that suit texture on the inside, which is that strange blue. It's just really, I don't know what that is but it looks pretty cool though overall the sculpting there and then you got that little thing there which some of you said that this might be like a iron man's arc reactor on his chest and contain nanoparticles and the suits will pop out so they'll be like in like normal civilian mode and then they go boop and then it'll be like Phew, and then the suit will be there and they'll be like whoa oh and the arms are really bendy too just like all the other figures which is very interesting it's just kind of strange it's just so flexible it's like it's like one of those old Stretch Armstrong toys. You guys remember that? 
Stretch Armstrong? No? Oh well, let's move to the legs. They look pretty sweet with lots of details and they're looking to be the exact same as Thor and Iron Man's here. And the one thing I do have to credit is that the blue here, even though it's a strange color, it really does accentuate the muscles. I mean, just look at that. He's got some seriously buff thighs. I mean, Captain America's gonna kick you in the face and your face is gonna go into like next year. I mean, wow. And then you got the details down there. And then you got the Lego Jumbo on the bottom of the foot and then also on the back. Where, wait, where to go? Uh oh, there it is. Lost track of it for a second from the glare. But yeah, it's right there, which is kind of strange because the other figures didn't have that, but Captain Marvel and then this one does. So I don't know why they put that there, but it's very annoying. All right, and for the articulation, his head rotates in a circle there, and it has a little bit of side to side. Very, very minimal. I'm not sure if that's actually flex or just side to side movement. And then the head goes that far back and that far forward. It's I, actually, I think it's just flex. It's, it's not actually articulation, just the circle part. And the arm rotates 360 and goes about that high, but since it's flexing, you can go that much higher and says, whoa, whoa, actually, whoa. Actually, you know what? Don't do that because it looks like that was going to tear for a second there. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't do that. Uh, but the elbow does go up 90, not quite 90, and then spins in a circle. And one thing is like that really soft rubber makes the joint very not smooth. I mean, you see how it's, it just doesn't really want to move. It's not smooth like your typical joint, so... I don't think I really like this soft rubber. And the legs go that far forward and not back at all. And thankfully the legs are not quite flexed like that. The ankle kind of has flex, but it's nice and stiff. And for accessories, he comes with his actual Captain America shield again. Not those weird Wakandan ones, which weren't really shields. Those were just weird. And it's actually molded in this red plastic overall. I really like the sculpting of this star here and those little circles around here. The star especially just looks great. And he has these straps here that have some nice molding there. They're soft rubber there. And what's actually interesting is this shield is actually the exact same shield as the 10-year Marvel Legends Captain America one, which is pretty interesting actually. Everything down to the last detail, except this one's molded in silver, this one's molded in red. Even the straps are exactly the same. So basically, this shield's the exact same one as this, minus the really nice paint job. So if you're good with the paintbrush, I mean, you could make this shield look like this or even better. So that's, that's pretty nice there. And to attach it, you just stick it on to his arm there. There's the uh, bigger piece and the smaller piece. The bigger piece goes first, obviously. And I recommend putting it on this arm here because it goes in easier, especially on the front here. I mean, easier is kind of a subjective term, but kind of get that on that. Come on, get it. Okay. Okay, there we go. Yeah, like I said, easier. But anyways, it looks like that. Looks pretty good. Stays on pretty tightly. And then you got Captain America with his shield. And like I said, this arm is better because when you try to put it on this arm, it actually gets caught on this little whatever that thing is. We'll find out later when we watch the movie. And then when you, when you actually get past that, then it gets caught on the thumb. So it's just a real headache. So yeah, definitely recommend putting it on this arm. It's possible on this arm, but you're just going to hate life if you try. Oh, and you'll probably scratch off the blue paint like I did right there. Yeah. And here he is next to the 10-year Marvel Legends Captain America, as well as the Infinity War Marvel Legends Captain America, and the Hero Vision Infinity War Captain America. Now his head pops off just like the other figures, and the ball joint looks to fit the Hero Vision Wave 2 and 3 figures, which is cool. Now what's kind of cool is that the ball joint for his head is actually small enough that some Marvel Legends heads can actually either pop in it or sit on top of it. Here's the Marvel Legends 10 year Captain America head and it looks pretty decent and aside from that blue there it, it looks like you know it, it could it could work as long as you're displaying it. I kind of want to unbox the regular Captain America now that has the black suit but that's up to you guys. You guys vote. And here he is with that Chris Evans 10 year head. Get that on there. Looks pretty decent, right? I think I think it could actually work there. Here's the Ant-Man head. It actually pops on. Here's T'Challa, whose head also pops on. Here's Star-Lord, whose head sits on it, but he actually looks pretty cool. And you know what? Why not? And here's the Endgame tech suit figures next to each other. As you can see, the gray portions on their suits are pretty much the same overall between the figures. Even the legs are pretty much, actually they're exactly the same aside from the little size difference there. He's got some muscles, he doesn't, but the tech suit 
underneath or on top is the same. And of course Iron Man has some Iron Manning details on his belly. And here's a side profile here and you can see that Thor is more like a, you know, space pancake instead of a space pirate. And then here's the back view for you, looking pretty much the same overall. But man, that blue is just, ugh, especially when you see them next to each other, it's just really starting to bug me. But you know what? Let's just do that real quick. Oh, there we go. So much better. Now one thing I do have to admit that aside from this blue here, I think that Captain America has the best tech suit body sculpt of the two. Now Iron Man is pretty cool, but I mean this one just looks overall just nicer and sleeker like the movie. And what's nice is when you take his head off, the ball joint is smaller than these two, which means that you can actually fit their heads on it. They don't pop on, but they sit on it. Look at that. Doesn't that look cool? I mean, look at that Iron Man. It looks natural, like it's uniform look, and it looks great. And what's even better is when you put Thor's head on. Now that's a tech suit Thor. Does it? Does that look good? Look at that. Look how great that is. And look, look here, here. Let's do a side view. Oh my, look at that. It looks beautiful. It's so nice. I don't know what's wrong with that. It looks so great. So theoretically, you can just go and buy, I mean, I think the Captain America here is the exact same as that one. I'll, I'll find out when I unbox them, you know, when you guys vote on them. But you could buy a bunch of this guy, the Captain America in the black suit, and if you have the Infinity War Iron Man, this is the exact same head. You can pop this head on there. And if you have the Infinity War Thor, you can take that head and pop it on there too. And now you have a uniform and really sweet looking Team Tech Suit Avengers. What, what? Booyah! Captain America's gonna sell out, calling it right now. And here's Binary Captain Marvel next to her Marvel Legends counterpart, as well as Goose the Cat there. Now some of you have asked in the comments whether her head will fit on the Marvel Legends and vice versa, so let's go and find out. Alright, now let's go and pop their heads off here. Hmm, from the looks of it, it looks like the ball joint might actually... Yeah, it looks like it's ever so slightly bigger on the Marvel Legends than this one, so... Her head should, actually the Marvel Legends should fit on this one, but it shouldn't work the other way around. But let's go and try it. All right, let's go and get this head. Let's see if that'll fit on there. It's clearly way too big. It is just, it is not gonna fit on there. And that is what that would look like if you just have it sit on there as opposed to popping it on. And yeah, that, that looks kind of weird. Let's try it on the other one. Yeah, that looks even more weird. Okay, clearly that won't work, but let's try putting these heads on there because, you know, that should fit because it's smaller. Let's try this one first. Oh, hey, there we go. Fits on there and I don't know. What do you guys think? It looks a little oversized to me. Looks kind of, I mean, if it works, but it looks oversized. It, eh, I don't know. Let's try the Brie Larson head. Okay, yeah, that that's starting to, yeah, that looks a little oversized and Okay, so yeah, I mean you can put the Marvel Legends head on it, but it, it doesn't it doesn't look right And if you have the Marvel Legend head that means you have the Marvel Legend body So there's really no reason to be putting those on there. It's just well except for this one I, I could see the reason for this, but it just don't look right, but you know what? Let's see if the accessory will fit on her arm here, so maybe that'll work at least and Yeah, there you go that works there for that one. Let's try it for the other one the other Captain Marvel. All right, let's put that on her arm there, and okay, there, that works, uh, uh, sort of. Okay, yep, you can use the accessory for all the figures, so that that's a plus, just not head swapping. And here they are, all together, next to their Marvel Legends counterparts. Here's their fellow Endgame basic buddies that I've reviewed so far, and a few of their Hero Vision Infinity War friends. Well, guys, I really like the binary Captain Marvel. The sculpt and paint just look fantastic. Fantastic. And I like the sculpt of Captain America, but the blue suit just doesn't seem right to me. I'll just have to see how he compares to the single pack Captain America when you guys vote for him. And with that said, thanks for joining me on another Endgame review, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.